Hello, welcome to the Northeast Regional Library Storytime. I'm Teresa Templeton from the Ayuka Public Library, and today I will be reading Will You Read to Me? Stories and Pictures by Danny Skazette, with permission of Simon & Schuster Publishers. Hamlet leaned over the fence. He looked at all the pigs soaking in the mud. Mom, he said, Dad. A big pig looked up. Yes, dear, said his mother. I have a new book, said Hamlet. Will you read to me? Hamlet's father sat up. Is it a cookbook, he asked. No, said Hamlet. It's about a dragon that doesn't want to be one. Oh, said his father. He rolled over into a warm spot. Hamlet showed his mother his notebook. I wrote some poems, he said. I can read to you. Poems, said his sister. What kind of pig writes poems? What kind of pig wears a clean shirt, said a brother. Look, Ma, there's not a spot on it. Hamlet tried to cover the sh shirt with his notebook. It's a good thing there aren't two of him, someone said. Twins, said his big brother. Hamlet and eggs. Just as everyone started to laugh, they saw the farmer walking away from the eating trial. Supper, they shouted and shoved and pushed their way across the mud hole. Supper, 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 supper! <sighs> Hamlet looked at the pigsty. He didn't feel very hungry. He looked at a spot of mud on his favorite shirt and then he walked away. When he saw the farmer's pond, he stopped for a moment and watched the rising moon. He sat down near the edge of the water and wrote a new poem in his notebook. When he looked into the pond, he saw his twin looking back at him. Oh, he gasped. It's you, Hamlet waved. His twin waved. Do you mind if I call you eggs, Hamlet asked. Eggs didn't answer. I'll read to you, said Hamlet, and then you can read to me. Can there be such a thing as pigness without the dirt? Or am I, Hamlet, just a sort of pig with mud? on his favorite shirt. Hamlet looked into the water again. The wind ruffled the surface of the pond. Hamlet's twin bobbed up and down in the moonlight. Oh, good, he said. I'm glad you liked it. Now it's your turn. Black leaves drifted in the fading sky and shadows crept along the edge of the pond. The frogs began their nightly chorus and an owl hooted. The breeze rattled the cattails, brushed Hamlet's face, and then it was quiet. Very nice, said Hamlet. I wrote a poem about the wind. I'll read it to you. The wind is rising with the moon like whispers from a tender ghost. An October wind, soft and warm, gently moving through the garden. Listen, can you hear the sound of brush silk sitting by the window? Shh, listen. Did you get it? Hamlet asked. Brush silk is the fur of a black cat I saw sitting by the farmer's window. The little pig looked into the water just as a cloud drifted across the moon. Hamlet's twin began to fade away. Oh, said Hamlet, don't go. See if you like this one better. It's about a cantaloupe. The moon is a cold, sweet slice of cantaloupe sitting on a porcelain plate ready to be carved by the constellation Spoon. Hamlet looked into the pond. It was dark. Oh, he said softly. Goodbye, eggs. I guess you didn't like that one either. Hamlet sat down. I liked it, said a small voice. Me too, said another. We all did. Hamlet looked up. Oh, my, he said. Will you read to us, they asked. Thank you for joining us for story time and keep checking back for more stories.